Welcome back to another video. It's Friday and you know what that means. It's time for Top Fuel Teachers. So Amy, I hear you may have had a bit of a breakthrough with the Mondeo. Yep, we, we may have had a small breakthrough with the Mondeo. Uh, this video, you'll see us trying to find something out, finding something out, and then testing our theory. So we'll go through to where the magic happens and um, take a look at these couple of clips. What's going on in here? Let's go find out. Come on. Heidi, what's going on? Oh, Chris, you know, you know that little, little simple drive shaft issue we had? Tiny little issue, that, Where yeah. We just had, just had to pop the, the CV joints off. Oh yeah, I remember the one. Not that easy, not that easy, really isn't. So, turns out that Ford make and want to make the Mondeo CV joints serviceable. Well done, Ford. Turns out Ford don't want to make focus joints like that though. Um, we pop the Mondeo shaft joint off, which is here. Nice and dirty job, love it. So we've popped that off, no problem, no problem at all. Uh, and then we try to pop the focus joint off. It ain't having it. It ain't having it at all. <coughs> so we've had to go quite in quite hard on it. Uh, this is part of the cage inside the CV joint, six balls. CV stands for constant velocity. Um, so we had to cut that out because we want to see whether the Mondeo joint will fit on, no, the focus joint will fit on the Mondeo shaft. So we needed to get the focus joint off. Um, but we couldn't get the focus joint off. So end up cutting it like that. That still wouldn't work. Then we ended up cutting the end. Oh, still warm. Ah, no, still warm. <laughs> we ended up cutting the end of the drive shaft off so we could then twist the cage inside the joint, get the balls out, and then get the joint apart and try and get the centre of it off. We did that. It still wouldn't come off. So then we've just had to grind off the top. There is a little circlip, little circlip like that. Look at that tiny little thing. As that's what's give us the headache. On the Mondeo one, you've got a little bit of a taper. So when you try and knock it off, the circlip squashes up into the taper and it comes off. On the focus one, you haven't. Um, Ford just don't want it to come apart, basically. Um, we've had a look online, there was no one really. We have hammered the living everything out of it and it wouldn't separate. So like I said, we cut the top off the shaft and then that's the inside where the cage and the ball sits. So we then twisted it because we'd cut the shaft. We got it out and it still wouldn't come apart as much as we needed. So we then cut the top bit where the recesses of the little clip, we've cut that off as well. And then we've got the shaft out. So this, this though, proves to be worth it because this is the Mondeo shaft, where the joint come off easy. And this is the centerpiece. This is the centerpiece of the focus one. The whole point of this was to find out whether this fits on there. Now, if it doesn't, I don't know what we're gonna do. But look at that. That's like a glove. That is perfect, it's exactly the same. So, hurdle that we had of the drive shafts. We now know that we can put focus out of CV joints on the Mondeo shafts. Napper, um, if they ever see this Napper, hi. I, I know hi you, Napper. I know you do some stuff for some others. Um, Napper 
I've just looked online, do outer CV joints for a focus and they're 30 quid each. So I'm gonna go out now, I'm gonna hit up eBay. eBay sponsor people as well. I'm just saying, eBay, hi. Hi um, eBay. I'm gonna go on eBay and order two Napa outer CV joints, brand new. They come with a boot as well, because we'd need the boots. So this is a hurdle that now I think we know we can overcome because it's, it was a headache. It was a headache getting apart, but now it has been proved that it was worth getting apart. So when it comes to putting it all back together, we should be able to just knock on. This will all be in, in the new one with the cage and the balls. We should just be able to put the new boot on, tap our focus uh, outer CV joint on, and then put the shafts in. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a good progression on it. It's something we might have had to get custom drive shafts made if we couldn't do it this way. That would have been a headache, a massive headache, and a big expense. This way, 60 quid for two Napa CV joints, and we could be over it. Brilliant. So, yeah, that is the drive shaft solution. So we may have had development with our auxiliary belt hurdle so far. Um, as you can see, we've removed the power steering pump and we've removed the AC compressor there. We were talking about trying to get a stretchy belt to go around there. Well, we couldn't find one in the size that we needed, but... We had another thought, um, maybe utilising the tensioner still, and to run the belt round there, over that, because the tensioner goes that way to tension it, so it would take a slack up. Now the only trouble with that would be that the belt would only be on maybe a quarter of the pulley. Normally they're like three quarters that they go on. So that's the only downside but we think it'll work. Now, because on the normal belt run, uh, the back of the belt went over the tensioner, the tensioner had a smooth pulley. Oh, drop that. Ah, the tensioner had a smooth pulley. Now, we didn't really want to run a smooth pulley on the tensioner, so we managed in stock to have a ribbed one that was off the tensioner on this engine from here that's what we do here we uh, use what we have and get by so we fitted it from there onto here we had to put a washer between here to stop the pulley rubbing on the tensioner and we also then had to space up the tensioner mount out by a washer as well just so that stays in line with that. Now, it seems like it should work. Uh, we've ordered a 6PK1030 belt. When that comes, we will put the belt on and we will see if we've been clever. So, stay tuned for another clip. So, we've now got our mapper drive shaft joints, outer drive shaft joints, for a Focus ST. Um, so, we can hopefully carry on with what we were doing. Pack of grease, two clips, new boot, and new joint. And also, here, we've got, I've got a couple of bits in here actually, We've got the new sir clip, which will go in there to hold it on. With these, we've also got a new bolt. Bit of a good, good catch. catch. Good catch. Bit of a strange one. These um, you don't do them up as tight as you can get them. They're actually a stretch bolt, so every time you take one out, you're meant to replace it. Don't know why Ford have done it that way, but. That goes in and holds it in the hub. So as we found out last time, we ain't got the clip on, so I won't stay on. The new CV joint fits on the Mondeo drive shaft 
like that. So this, this, in theory, should totally solve our drive shaft hurdle. We call them hurdles because we're getting over them. <coughs> Think positive. So, we'll pack this with grease. We'll put the new gator on, new gator on. Pack it with grease, we'll put the new clip on. And then we'll put the joint on. And then we'll reassemble the drive shaft all ready for when the engine goes in the track car, which will probably be September, or start of it anyway. Um, like we've said, we've got, we've got a few hurdles, but um, we're pretty sure we can get over them. This is one, like I said, and providing the lengths aren't excessively stretched, like I said, 15 mil difference aside, don't think that's enough to cause us a problem. Um, Monda uh, the Mondeo is 15 mil shorter than uh, Focus. But that should, until we get the engine sat in place and suspension going back together, that should be our drive shaft issue sorted. So if you want to put a V6 out of a Mondeo into a like, Focus, you need the Focus out of drive shaft joints. Moving on to the engine. <coughs> We've just dummied up our little sports cats on there, as you can see. Um, so there, we're gonna have to obviously custom build the exhaust so from, from there. What we'll do is we'll probably custom build the exhaust and then get it built properly out of stainless steel by one of the exhaust companies. Um, like I said before, we are hoping to make it a side exit exhaust out through the sill which means we will have to cut the floor pan and box it uh, but we'll just see how much work it is once the car there which you can see is all stripped ready for the wrap once that is wrapped we'll get the car on the ramp and then we can start having a proper look underneath we'll pull the front end off of it being very careful with it obviously we'll also pull the engine out and then we can uh, start offering this one up in place and see, see what we've got. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, like I say, hopefully we'll be able to use this mount point. Hopefully, which will give us a good starting point. And then this one is totally different. The bolt holes on the Focus chassis rail are about that far apart. Might just be a case of drilling more holes, strengthening it and that. But we'll see and we'll get over it. We made a wrong measurement on our belt. I don't know how, I really don't know how. We ordered a 1030 belt for it, way too short. So we then ordered a 1060 belt, which was a tight fit to get on. But as you can see, the 1050 belt is on there, 1060 belt is on there. It's very close here, very close here. <coughs> we'll try it. What we might end up doing, because this is a 6PK 1060, means there's six ribs in it, six ribs in it, and it's 10, well, 1060 millimetres long. We might order a 5PK 1060, and then not use the last rib on the pulleys. So we'll basically just move this out, one rib. We might do that. If this becomes a problem, we might do that. <laughs> like I said before, the only, not issue, but the only um, downside to doing what we've done here is we're not on the crank pulley a lot. Um, maybe a, not even a quarter of the crank pulley. But because we're not going to be hammering the electrics, the worst thing we might have on is a heat front screen, possibly. We hope that will be enough to, to turn it. The alternator won't struggle that much. Again, this is just something we're going to find out, something we're going to try and see. If it is, then we've got to adapt it even more, haven't we? This is it. Little hurdles, but we'll get over them. So, at the moment, that is how that is. The next video you will see us, uh, well, the next video we will do, will be that car getting its new look. Uh, Maxis are coming down, well, the guys at Maxis have organised are coming down Monday. 
Uh, we'll get a bit of film footage with them as well, doing, working their magic on that. And then you will finally see what that is going to look like, well, what it will be looking like. So we're excited to see it. We've seen the, the proof of it and we are excited to see it. So that next week will be looking amazing. Uh, we've got the wheels being powder coated bright orange at the moment as well. So in time, we've got the spoiler being designed. We've had some input into the spoiler as well. It's not going to be like, it's going to be similar to D's, but we've done a few more custom bits, custom designs to it as well. So MGC modifications, Matt, he's uh, doing a spoiler for us. Uh, again, that's another thing I'm looking forward to getting on because with the splitter on and the wing on and the wrap and the wheels, it's going to look mental, this car, which is why it needs that. So anyway, from here, it is goodbye from me and it's goodbye from me. We will see you next week. Mm -hmm.